And no, it's not Sushi Malu. This is going to be uh, some sort of fancy halibut dish when uh, Jimmy here gets done with it. I'm Mike Rowe. And I'm Malou Nubla, hanging out here at Purcell Murray in Brisbane. Again, for the Cooking Concepts Contest, your chance again to win dinner for two at 12 of the Bay Area's finest restaurants. Frascati, great little town in Italy, also a great little restaurant here in town. We'll tell you more about it momentarily. Have to wait for the secret ingredient. Oh, the secret ingredient's coming up, which of course qualifies people for the free dinners. There you go. Okay. Now we've got something else that you're uh, taking care of, huh? It's only been nine weeks of this. I'll finally get it straightened out. Uh, tonight's first story is, you know, I've forgotten. What is it again? Uh, oh, it's manners. Where's your etiquette? No, I mean, come on now. Well, it's ironic because table manners, of course, is something you should have when you go to a nice restaurant. Something you mm -hmm. should have just in life. Turns out, minor so-so. <laughs> Four of the most well-mannered kids I've ever met. I can tell the truth about you, right? It depends. He has great manners. You always have great manners. Such a gentleman. Thank you. Parents touch it very well. Mabel, Mabel, if you're able, take your elbows off the table. <laughs> I remember these things. Parents were teachers. You bet they were. Still are. Okay, uh, been out on a good date lately? Yes. Oh, yes. Takes yes. a lot of time, you know. You have to invest a lot of time in going out on dates. But there's a way that you can go out on eight dates all at once. Sadly, Justin's date did not pan out. Eight-minute dates? I've been on lots of eight-minute dates. <laughs> Hell, I've been on four-minute dates. Uh, although he said he would try it again. If you'd like to try it out, it's $28. Log on to 8MinuteDating.com. And if you want to go to a really romantic restaurant, where it is, Frascati was voted one of the best date places in town. People proposing there all of the time. How do you know all that? The owners told me. Yeah, stick around. We're going to meet the chef of that restaurant, give you a secret ingredient for your chance to win those free dinners and eat at that restaurant. Now, there's a proposal. More of evening after this. How's it going, chef? Great. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here at Purcell Murray in Brisbane. You know, the cool thing about this place is you get to test drive the appliances. I don't think that's hooked up to water, though, officially. It, it would really be fun. Oh, to... it would be fun, because you and I could settle a lot of old issues. This is the kind uh -huh. you, you really want in your home anyway. Why is that? Because it's too, too difficult to actually stick a pot under there and try to get... I'm sure the viewer's fascinated by that. Perhaps you'll be more fascinated with Fix-It Jim and his solution to poorly insulated pipes. Well, thank you, Fix-It Jim. If you have suggestions for Jim, Fix-It Jim at kpix.com or homedepot.com for more Home Depot type questions. Why can't you be Fix-It Mike? I could be. It would just be a very, very short segment. <laughs> I'm not a fixer. I, I would like to be a fixer. I'm not what you call handy. All right, coming up here at Purcell Murray in Brisbane. You know they have great cooking classes here. Yes, I do know that. Got to log on to PurcellMurray.com for that. And we're also going to learn from Chef Jim. Yeah. Another Jim? A, yeah, another Jim. Would it be Cook-It Jim? <laughs> no, that's Jim Campbell from uh, Frascati. Yeah. And he's standing by with what looks like about five pounds of halibut <laughs> with my name on it and yours. Well, if you want to learn how to prepare halibuts, pay attention right now and uh, listen to Chef Jimmy. Yeah, you don't have to go all the way to Italy to visit Frascati, although I hear it's a lovely village over there. We've got one right here in Russian Hill. Yes. Um, what are we cooking? Today we're going to cook uh, pan-seared Alaskan halibut and with uh, a bell pepper ragu, black olives, and we're gonna take the bell pepper cooking liquid and emulsify it to make a sauce. Okay, what's the first step here? Well, the first step would be uh, the peppers and the onions. First, you can pick them up anywhere. You wanna roast them, and then you wanna take the skins off of them so they look like that. Afterwards, we're gonna cook them with onions and garlic. And so essentially, it looks like this. Ooh, a little hot. You like it like that though there, see? Yeah, well we have a little, we have a little chicken stock and that'll, that'll cool things down. And then we get our fish going here with a little olive oil. What are you cooking on here, Thermidor? Yeah, it's a real nice Thermidor stove. Uh, keeps good heat, nice flame. Mm -hmm. So then real quick, with all fish, we want to season it well. So we'll do a little salt here on both sides. That's sea salt? <laughs> yes, well actually it's kosher salt. Oh. Not quite the fleur de sel, but it, it works just fine. Sure. So salt and pepper on both sides. Then we're going to add it into the pan here. Now how long do you cook that for? Well, we're going to cook it approximately three minutes on this side, get some color, flip it over, and then finish it in the oven. Okay. And then while we're doing that, we'll heat up our bell, bell pepper stew here, which we have. We're going to get it nice and hot. Um, at that point, we can um, add in some black olives. Now, these are just pitted Kalamata black olives from Greece. You could use any kind of olive in there? You can use any kind of olive. We use Kalamatas from Greece, but if you wanted to use uh, another type from France or Italy, it's all, it would all be okay. 
essentially they just add a briny texture, uh, you know, with some vinegar and and that helps with the acidity of the, the peppers and the onions. Now, if you're having a hard time keeping up with all this, I want to remind everyone the recipe is always on the fix page at kpix.com. And here we have some julienne serrano ham. Mmm. Uh, once again, you, good. you can substitute prosciutto de parma. Uh, serrano is a Spanish uh, white ham. It's been salted and aged. White ham, salted and aged. Yes. So we got the fish here, and it's getting some color. And you want to let the olive oil cook it. Uh, as you can see, it starts to become more opaque. Mm -hmm. It works up from the bottom. And then it's approximately two to three minutes on this side, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of butter. Okay. Because uh, butter will add color and get some caramelization of the fish. And then it's going to come out of the pan and into the oven? Then we're going to flip it over in this pan. Okay. And we're just going to put it in the oven. You said butter adds color. That's correct. And flavor, too. It does. And it's fat free. No. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> okay, so we're going to finish this up here when we come back and also give you the key ingredient to this recipe for your, your chance to win those 12 free dinners at 12 of the Bay Area's finest restaurants. Okay. It's kind of fun having people loom over your shoulder, isn't it, while you try and work? Isn't that nice? All right, Chef Jimmy, almost done here? We're almost done. The fish has come out and it's cooked. Then we're going to take one piece of Serrano ham here. We're just going to put it in the hot pan. That's going to crisp up as a garnish. Uh, we're heating up our bell pepper stew. The last thing that we're going to add to it is the chopped chives. Okay. And that's just because they're fresh and to keep their color as a nice garnish, we want them to just be fresh. And Isn't crispy serrano ham basically bacon once it gets crispy? Well, bacon would be from the uh, stomach of the pork and this is the, the leg, so it's a little different. But That's why he's a chef and I'm a simple host. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just, just a little bit on each side, mm -hmm. that, that'll add some nice uh, flavor. So we have our bell pepper um, ragu here with the olives and chives. All right, speaking of bell pepper, what's the secret ingredient? Bell peppers. The key ingredient tonight is bell peppers. Write that down. Send it to Cooking Concepts Contest, PO Box 26555, San Francisco, California, 94126. That gives you another chance to win 12 free dinners at some of the Bay Area's finest restaurants. Of course, that would be for two people. Yeah, so um, we're probably not going to win that, are we? Uh, no. No. But First-hand experience right now. Yeah, well, we're going to go to Frascati one way or the other. Sounds like a, uh, a fun place to check out. And, Jimmy, uh, do you actually do this on the menu in the restaurant, or is this special for us here? No, we actually do do this on the menu. You said do-do. Right. I <laughs> did say do-do. <laughs> and you're going to have cooking classes, too, here at Purcell Murray. For more information on that, log on to PurcellMurray.com. <laughs> What's the secret ingredient? Bell peppers? Bell peppers. All right, write that down. Really, it's a great value. She's going to dig into this the way she always does. And I'm going to remind you that if you're going to go to the expense of getting yourself some top quality cookware, you might as well learn how to use it. That's why the cooking lessons here at Purcell Murray are such a great value. Check them out online as well. And you're going to be cooking here in when, May and in June? May and June. See, if you were paying attention, Mike, you would have heard me. I said that all earlier. That's why I'm eating right now because the show's over. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much, Chef. Thank you for having me. It's amazing how she can eat and talk, don't you mm. think? One time I saw her take a fork off right in half. It was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Cut through it like butter. Tonight's Evening Magazine was sponsored by Purcell Murray and Home Depot.